Plenty of emotion down there at ground level regarding what a legend he has been for South Sydney. His girls in his arms. He is a Burrow favourite, and the Burrow has been waiting to celebrate this. I'm very proud of being the most capped player here. It's such a prestigious club, and to play over 300 games is something I'm very proud of. It's been a long road, but I have just enjoyed every season and just made it as fun as possible. The culture at South Sydney is second to none. You need good people from the inside out, and that's what we have here. And that's where I feel like I've had my most success is just enjoying my football. My proudest moment in rugby league was probably winning the grand final. One to seal it. Sutton kicking for the in goal area. Another wicked bounce! I want to thank you members and fans out there for coming every week. Let's do this! I've dreamt about that for a long time and to be able to hoist the trophy up was um, a magical moment for myself. I think the way I've approached playing football along my career is to always have fun. It's an enjoyable sport that I've been playing ever since I was five. I've always liked being around teams and playing alongside mates. My mum and dad have had a lot to do with my career. They've kept me on the right path through my teenage years and you know, I owe them a lot. My mum's always been on to me about you know, performing well, so I've never wanted to let her down. If you put in the hard work, you will always get success. You might not win all the games, but everyone has to be pushing each other to want that success. Being a good leader, you have to be a good people person. You have to be able to communicate with the team and the coaches on, on different levels. Becoming a captain was uh, something I didn't really think of doing, but I was pushed along by the coaches and my teammates. But there was some experienced players at the club, former captains in Michael Crocker and Roy Satasi, who helped me become the, the captain I was. It's been a long journey, obviously the club wasn't doing too well in my early years. Club boss George Piggins broke the bad news. Uh, took us out of the competition for the year 2000. At the time, I was still playing in the um, lower grades at South. Once I got to 18, 19, they got reinstated. So it was good for me because I never had to leave. I think growing up as a Rabbitohs fan, I've always wanted to be loyal to the club and being able to play here for such a long time and now coaching, it's been a great experience for myself. I just love the club and what it's done for me and my family. Being a player, then moving on to be a coach after I retired was a funny transition for myself. Being around the team and playing alongside my best mates for so long and then having to be a coach to them was um, pretty weird. Becoming a coach, you have to um, come down on the players sometime and just make sure you're staying on top of things and making sure you have those, still have those good relationships with um, the leadership group and the players. It's been a long journey through the ups and downs, but with this club, of, um, it's really helped me along the way and it's really led me in the right direction. Beautiful ball to Sutton, big step. Oh, Johnny Sutton's under the post. He's having a whale of a game.